Hello, folks, and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Let's go ahead and wake up. This is, in fact, going to be the last episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Um, we're basically done. We finished up with our uh, with our developed ship. We basically got every upgrade I think I want here. We can buy just a couple more on, like, demo charges and stuff, but whatever. I can carry more demo charges. Big deal. We got everything else done, so I'm good here. Let's go and finish up our shift on our ship we have in progress. We should totally be able to do. Yeah, continue salvaging our existing ship, and we'll just, uh, you know, talk about the game and how things are and how things were and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's been a fun time. Start, I got a question for you, Lou. I got a message about voting on supervisor benefits. What's that all about? Oh, yeah. Union proposed better benefits for supervisors. You know, since supers don't really get to use ever work like shipbreakers do. But it says there's also a 2% pay decrease to cover it. Uh, yeah, that's where negotiations landed. <sighs> Feels like Link's nickel and diming us again. I get it. Sometimes you gotta compromise, though. You know? Build a working relationship with the company. You think Lynx wants a working relationship? Well, we gotta start somewhere, D. It'll get better. In time. I sure hope so. I mean, see where D's coming from. Like, it feels like... I mean, that's the problem, right? Is that you think, oh, yeah, we'll just get a union and we'll solve all the problems. Well, eventually. Yeah. But, like, not easily. Like, to get a five-day work week took a lot of people doing a lot of things and basically risking their lives. And it eventually worked, but it's now something we take for granted. It's just one of those things that's going to be, like, real hard. And, of course, Lynx is used to working and having all the power. And so saying, no, no, you can't do that to them is, like, this whole new... Whole new era. I'm gonna get around this thing. Salvage Here we go. secured. Applying credit. I do like the design of all the ships. But the gotchas here are really like once you know them, they're not that bad. For the most part, as long as you pay attention to what you're doing, it's fantastic. I mean it's very much like it really feels like an actual job. You know, there's actual like stuff you need to watch out for. Um there's, you know, the the office screw up, which would be Kai. Which is not really his fault. Like, that's that's actually like not even giving Kai due credit, really. Kai's learning. He's trying. There's a lot of people like where, you know, they ask the same question like ten times. It's like, Jimmy fucking cricket, man, we just fucking get it. Like not ten times in a row, but like, you know. Like, the last hit, day one, day two, day three, day four, like, the same question, like, every week. And you're like, dude, come on, you've explained this. What the hell? Which I guess Kai sort of was. But he seems to have definitely gotten better somehow. I'm not entirely sure how that worked, but I'm glad for it. Um, let's see, I need to take off this whole back section. How's that going to work? Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying well, The credit. whole back section ties into the cooling area. Okay. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So pull this away. I think the biggest problem I have with the game is kind of the nickel and diamond, right? Deposit. Like, I mean, so there's some talk when they were designing the game. Um, there would be a lot of distinction between, okay. Like, what is actually, like, a Link's decision, like, in-game, and what's, like, a UI decision? Like, what's the, like, what's the gamer approach versus how we're actually, like, how do we want gamers to actually, like, look at this? Because there's a difference, right, because between what you want the company to do in the game and what you want the player to actually experience. And that's a tough line to draw. 
I think they did a good job. I think it's really well done. I don't have too many complaints about it. It's just that occasionally it does feel like the game fights you a little bit. Like, no, no, you can't do that. That would make too much sense. Kind of nonsense, you know? Can't possibly have all the lights, you know, pulled out by another team. You've got to do it all yourself. Well, yeah, it's just, you know, it's busy work. So when you ever do any of the races, which I have not done on stream, but I have done a little bit off stream. Um, I'm terrible at that. But the thing that slows me down so much is mostly going to be, you know, all the little fiddly bits. And I guess it's just part of dealing with, like, how do you do this properly and all that. But it does sometimes feel like there's got to be a better way. Okay, so how do we separate this out? This furnace piece is tied to this processor piece, but there's no actual explicit tie. Yeah. I could just cut, and that's probably what they want me to do. Um, let's go and just cut this and see how it goes. I'll just do it more or less straight, should be fine. But sometimes also, like, there's here where, like, the game knows what I want to do. Like, the game developers do. I don't know if the game does. The game developers certainly do. But there's no actual, like, way to do it, and that kind of feels weird. But also this bit, right? These are two separate pieces. At least they should be regarded as two separate pieces. But for some reason... Oh, there's the cut point right there. Like, see, you have, like, a junction point right at, like, a weird angle. There. There we are, now it's separate. Yeah, so like, gameplay and story segregation pieces, you know? Like, this should be separate, but for some reason it's not. And the game doesn't want it to be, so I guess it isn't. If there was a better way to determine... The problem is it's freeform, right? If this was actually, like... I think a way to phrase this. If this was something... That they meant to be done... Why isn't there an easier way to do it? Right, if I'm supposed to cut this, why can't it have an auto-detection of a good area to be able to tell, like, okay, this is cuttable, this is an area I need to go? Actually, we did that fairly easily that time. So that time it worked. Um, you go ahead and go to the processor. I do like the tethers, though. The tethers are great. That goes away. That goes in the barge. Material accepted. Did miss an airlock console, but see, that's one of the fiddly bits I'm talking about. Like, there seems to be no reason for it aside from just messing with you a little bit. Let's see. So I can get in here and I can do stuff, but also. And the coolant. Maybe we not have the coolant. I mean, we're gonna need to separate this out anyway. Um, I need to pull the coolant before we go raiding it or bleeding anything. Let's see. Furnace. And then all those are furnace pieces. Furnace pieces. Okay, so they're all furnace pieces. Open this up. And pull these out. Grab that. Grab you. And grab you. Okay. With that done, let's go ahead and vaporize. Oops. Um. Hmm. Alright, we can get this hot enough to vaporize this panel. Done that before? I don't know if we've done that before. Let me go ahead and vaporize and see what happens. Pretty hot. There we go. Interesting. So... I mean, was that a good idea? I don't know. Like, we have this processor piece now that all goes in the processor, so I'll just go ahead and junk that. And she just pulled the entire thing over. Now, the problem is we've got a piece that goes to the processor, a piece that goes to the bar. So, which takes precedence? I don't know. Like, in the speed run, I would just dump this whole thing in the barge. There should be a way to separate these pieces, right? Usually if you, like, select one thing, like the light, Object will separate from the furnace piece because it's supposed to. Like you're undoing the screws or something. So there's just no way to separate this piece? I mean, I'll vaporize it, but that's unfortunate. Okay, 
we go. Uh, there's a piece there. That's just panel. Don't know how that even came about. Oh, that's from the ECU. Right, right. Door controls. That goes. Oh, come on. Yeah, see, and then we have little pieces like this where it knows what I want to do. It's obviously selected, but then it doesn't feel like doing it for some reason. I don't know. It just feels a little fiddly sometimes. But overall, I'm very happy with this game. Extremely happy of it. It's been a lot of fun. I look forward to this every week. I'm sorry to see it go, actually, but it's probably about time for me to move on to other games. I will probably keep on playing this, though. Like, I will keep on doing this um, in my free time. I say that about some games and never go back to them, but this one, I might actually mean it. Uh, let's see. I need to separate this piece away. This is all furnace. But this is processor, so we need to move. Hmm. Okay. The trouble is that we need to like move out this entire thing. So I can separate this, but we should probably actually go inside first. Yeah, because that's a that's an airlock here, right? Okay. So unfortunately, I've taken away the reactor. Because a lot of these airlocks may not work anymore. Now there is still. Theoretically, a power cell in there that might be powering things, but for the most part, we might be uh, might be in trouble here. I do like the decompression. I think that the fact that the um, the regulators aren't always present or don't always work is kind of a Link's decision. Like, it's meant to be difficult, and so it kind of fits. Is it frustrating? Sure, definitely, like, no question. Like, see another broken freaking regulator here. Um, that just goes outside. I go past here, though. Should be a working one in here. Theoretically. Nope. Not one in here. Uh, well, then it'll be in here, then. Is that loose cargo? No, it seems to be tied to the wall. I don't think it's loose. Oh, this regulator works. I think that's an actual airlock, isn't it? Air pressure level decreasing. Okay, so if I hold on and do this. Yeah, it's a regular airlock. airlock. Depressurizing. Okay. There's gotta be another de another regulator somewhere. Let's see where we can pull it out at. Airlock pressurizing. Um this goes outside, right? Yeah, that goes outside. Uh, the cockpit's over there. That deregulator's broken. I think I might have to break something. There's no good way to do this. Um, hold on to this. Okay. Well, there's not going to be a regulator here. Yeah, there's no regulator attached to the whole of the ship. So, I could pop this. If I break open that and that, this thing will pop like a frickin' can of, well, soda. Um, I don't see any other way to do it, though. I'm sure there is, but I don't know what it is. Okay, if I'm gonna do this, then we gotta do it at least somewhat safely. What would be a safe way to do this? I guess hold on while we do it. Is there another way to go? Um, not really. Yeah, this is all pressurized over here. Well, I think by being on the outside of the ship, I'm very likely to die. Now, the possibility here is that I could cut into here. Like, from the outside. And that would depressurize the ship. Might actually be the safe way to go. Because if I cut in, then you can't blame me, right? That's the way that goes. Yeah, with everything broken here, it's very, very bad. Okay, so definitely do this. Okay, drag you into the barge. 
And I'm gonna cut into here. I'm actually gonna do it. Oh, I can't though. Can I? Cut level two, I should be able to do it. Applying credit. Hmm. It's not letting me. If I have to do it from the inside, that's gonna hurt. I mean, might have been killed me. Uh, let me pop this at least. I guess we cut off the armor before in such a way that exposed the rest of the cabin to depressurization, so we might be able to do that with the armor. Maybe. If I use the actual cut mode as opposed to the burn mode. It's a possibility. Yeah, you go. Um, sure. Let's try cutting. Salvage accepted. Let's see what happens. Applied. If I cut loosely here, mostly on a downswing, that should expose the area. It might blast this into oblivion. Let me make sure that's tethered properly so it doesn't get blasted nowhere I want. We're way mostly safe, so let's see how this goes. Did not seem to work. Well, at least you got the armor away, but that was not what I wanted to happen. Uh, last one. Salvage deposit secured. Well, at least it's Credit faster awarded. and theoretically costs less to do. Yeah, but I don't think it's actually going to work for me. Okay, well, I'll burn it. And you go to the barge. That's the last piece of armor I wanted. Hmm. Well, we know we can separate this out. Salvage secured. Right, this one's Credit already deposited. done, so we can go ahead and pop you. We've already closed all the. Or we've already evacuated the air from the cockpit. Or did we? Interesting. That seems to indicate I did not, actually. I can open you up now. Probably just dump you on the processor, but. I don't need to do that just yet. I'll see that now the airlock's closed now. What the hell? Can I pull you through the door? Is that ridiculous? That's apparently ridiculous. All right. Well then, we know this. This has a join point right here. Oh, oh crap! Well, okay. Just burning a few things. Uh, we should probably just let it burn. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do there. We might be able to put out the fire if we manage to get the right aim, but and it's just not going to happen. Yeah, unfortunately, they're just badly aimed. But the fire apparently takes a lot. Okay, so that is destroyed. Still on fire. Just shove that in over there. Uh, well, still going to the barge, apparently. So do that. It does put out the fire, at least. We did... I think we burned the airlock console, I think is what happened there. Or the airlock was tied to that side, I suppose. So when we dumped in the processor, that didn't work. It does seem like a bunch of gotchas. It is basically a puzzle game, though. Like, effectively, once you... The trouble, I think, is that all the puzzles are the same after a while. If there could be, like, a randomization aspect, I don't know how you would do that. Like, that's not easy. But anything to make it more random would be kind of cool. I mean, there's already kind of a randomness to it. The ship designs, we're kind of familiar with this at this point, so I don't know if there's actually anything to do to randomize them, but that would be kind of cool. And the name Hard Space Shipbreaker kind of indicates that there's going to be a Hard Space other type of game, right? Like, Hard Space is the opener. It's like Horizon Zero Dawn opened up the possibility for, like, a bunch of other Horizon games. Alright, I'm going to do something a little dangerous here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Okay, that exploded. But it immediately closed an emergency procedures there. I don't know if that actually worked at all. Uh, what if I do this? Is this gonna work? Nope, because the door's gone. Okay, blow the doors here, too. Let's 
a lot of oxygen that way. Basically, what I made is a thruster, so the doors are now tilted. And, of course, every door has to be done that way now. I think so. Well, at least this is open to space, so that makes it easier. Um, here, go ahead and grab the ladder. I mean, it's not an ideal way to do this, but I didn't know what else to do. If I had done it from the inside, I'm pretty sure I'd die. I'm pretty sure we tried to do that before, and it just didn't work. Okay, so we got one more side to open up. Right there, I think. Oh, this one too? Oh, this one's actually blue, so this one will work. Airlock depressurized. That's right, just because it's a pro proper airlock, right? If I cut that way, though, that's where the fuel is. That might just explode. So I don't actually want to cut that way. Uh, how are we going to do this? It's a very good question. There's a way to do this, but I don't know what it is yet. Let's see. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. I think we've just got to blow it. Because the internal... Yeah, we still got a lot of internal pressure in there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here. I'm going to just burn this door, I think. There we go. Okay. It's a lot of oxygen. Burned a door, big deal. That door was going to burn anyway. But that takes care of most of the oxygen problems, right? Yeah, we got some internal compartments there that we still don't know how to evacuate. But for the most part, that handled it. So now if I go inside, now I can go ahead and blow this airlock. And just blow up the connection. Um, what I probably want to do is get rid of this front circle first, right? Because now I know it's safe to do. Because this has all been exposed to, uh, to the uh, open space. Now we're going to push that forward, and we don't die. Very handy. I like not dying. It's one of my favorite things to do. Or favorite things to not do. Favorite things that I like not doing. There's a way to phrase that, but it escapes me at the moment. Would have been funny if I died of that right then. Okay. Burn that. Everything in the front here we can probably just safely burn away. The airlocks are already exposed to space, so they shouldn't be able to blow up. Right, let's see if there's anything else I'm missing here, but I don't think there is. We have that one extra component, or one extra compartment, rather, that I think we kind of skipped over last time we did a ship like this. There's got to be a way to do it. Just separating all the pieces here because I think this all goes in the same larger scale here. Oh no, actually, they're two separate circles, aren't they? Yeah, that's okay though. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, and one right here. Great, sure, left away. Works for me. The more room I get, the better off we are. Just push against that a little bit and dump that in the processor. I've got nothing armor. I didn't even know that was here. Well, that thing bonked it all over the place, but it did get there. Processing valuable objects. Credit awarded. Um, why is that not? Oh no, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay. I thought I was burning a panel, but no, I wasn't. It's over here. Directly into the barge, not past go. Alright, so these parts should just separate out, right? So let me go ahead and pull you over towards there. Also, just to get you away. Actually, that's not where I want you to go, huh? Probably want you to go to our jack. Go up to the jack. I was thinking I needed to push it away from something first, but I don't think I do. This one we do, though. This one needs to come out from that main area. Let me 
go ahead and get rid of all the lights first, as this one moves out of my way. Whoops. Okay, that was very, very light for some reason. The tether is holding. Should pull it back up where we want it. Just trying to get the lights all out of here. Okay, get that up and out into the berth. Salvage Under that barge, rather. Account credited. The lights. I think that's everything we need here. Um, maybe that's the wrong jack to pull it to. I need to pull it over to that one, really. Okay, stop and pull to that jack, please. Over that side. And this should come out. Does this come out as one piece? It doesn't seem to come out at all. What am I missing? Um, I'll probably because it's still tied. No, it shouldn't be tied anything. I can vaporize that. That over there. Uh, make sure the airlock's disconnected. It does still have air in it, but when I do this, it'll pop it basically, and that's fine. I kind of want that to happen anyway. Uh, I wonder if the airlock here is holding something in place that it shouldn't be. I don't see anything. Okay, that just comes right out, so I'm not sure what it was. And we'll go that way. That should actually be enough movement for this. Oh, there's a barge piece there. Okay, hold on. We need to explode that. Processing valuable deposit. Let's Credit see. Transfer. Move you this way and place you right about... Right about there. Um, let's go ahead and tether that first. So, break tethers. Move up. Oh. Okay, don't forget the credit drive. All right, get that into the barge. But get that piece into there. And, oops, nope, don't do that. That there, that there, move to three, B, and mix nice. Okay, great. You go to the barge, or you go, come on, over here. Ah, there we go. That's the part I missed right there. That's joining the piece together. And now they should move out. Yeah, there we go. Um, I think this still needs to go to a jack, though. So as soon as you move away... Oh, maybe not. No, it's all mostly on that side. That should just go to that processor on that side. And then this goes to a processor on that side. Okay, so when this blows, I don't know what's going to happen. There's always a dangerous thing to say when you're dealing with explosive decompression. Like, usually you want to at least have an idea of what's going to happen. Oh yeah, this is obviously going to do X. Oh, well, do we want X to happen? That's a good question. I don't know. Alright, so pop this thing, see what happens. So there's not going to be oxygen on this side. So by burning this should not be a threat. Unless something's gone horribly wrong or I misunderstood something. Or both. Both is a possibility. But standing right here should not be a problem either way. Okay, last one. Okay, nothing exploded. Great. Now that this is separated, though, maybe we go ahead and pull it towards the berth, just to make sure. Or the have, anyway. There's another power generator thing over here. Alright, pull it. Deposit secured. Credits awarded. Got a lot of lights to pull, too. But we can do that easily. But yeah, maybe we want to pull the entire thing over with tethers, maybe to like a, a jack or something, because I think most of it probably goes to the furnace anyway. But I think we've emptied it out, so I think it does go to the furnace. Uh, a couple of random pieces in here, like the door here that apparently didn't get totally destroyed. There we go. Okay, but this thing probably can come out. 
Yeah, it's a little heavy. Totally doable. So, there you go. That moves out. Move that to the jack. I prefer moves to that jack, actually, because that's going to be easier to get into the furnace. Although, that is not the way I want you to do that, so maybe not. Okay, come up first, I guess. There's some stuff in there, but like the poster I don't really care about. The ladder I guess we should move to the to the berth. Or to the to the barge rather. Okay. This one though is pressurized, so when I detach this, it's gonna depressurize all of a sudden. That might be okay. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. I'm gonna try to stay as far away as possible because when it does depressurize, things are gonna go flying. I also don't want to be lined up with it either. Okay. Maybe that was enough. Maybe that was enough. Maybe that was it. This comes out. Uh, that comes out too. Yeah, that looks like that did it. Although the door... Yeah, the door's open. The door's open now as far as I can tell. Oops, okay, that moved a lot farther than I thought it was going to. Um, this just goes in the processor, though, I think, so just drag it over that way. You come right out if you can. I think you're still tied to it, aren't you? You are at least one piece there. Hmm. It's trying really hard. Come on, Tether. Oh, the Tether. Alright, try that again. If I have to pull you over to a berth, or to a jack, I'll do it. Burn not to need it. Are you still tied with the tether, or can I actually pull you in a different direction now? I do not see a tether on you. Okay, so go over that way. Can I move you now? Mm, no. Oh, is there still another piece there? No, there can't be. Oh, no, there it totally is. And a light in the weirdest place. I don't know what the hell the light's doing there. Like an engineer just never thought about doing maintenance there. I was like, well, you know, if they're doing maintenance in that general area, surely they'll need a light. No, dude, that's not how that works. Okay. I'd love to end the tether pretty soon because that one's way over where I want it to be, but you're not nearly there yet. Let me go look at this and see what we can do. So there is a ladder here. It's right out, goes in the barge. There is a computer in here. Looks like various tiny computers, so I might be able to just pull them out individually. Yeah, they'll fit right through the door. Okay. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. It would be kind of horrible to just lose these. Okay, we lost some Luna Paddle. Those things happen. Especially in areas that big. That probably should have been in the furnace instead, I guess. Okay, corner computer comes out. I've always kind of wanted a corner computer. I have some corners in my office right now that I would love to have something in. Like, right now, it's just like a a shelf, but I don't actually have that many things on shelves anymore. Like, it used to be when I had a bunch of physical books, but I've mostly changed over to ebooks now. Oxygen reserves are low. So I kind of want, like, a dedicated thing, but I don't have a dedicated thing to actually do yet. Okay, I think that's good enough. I don't care about the light. I'm going to go and dump this in the furnace. Or maybe the tether won't work at all. Why doesn't the tether work? He actually refuses. I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna tether that way. There we go. Okay. Let's go get some oxygen before we die. Let's tap a little bit. Okay. Oxygen reserves critical. Links recommend avoiding stressful workplace situations while oxygen levels are low. 
Just don't have stressful workplace uh, operations while work. While oxygen levels are low. Uh, well, that didn't quite work. Can I drag you down with my sheer strength of will? I don't know the way that works. Another light in a very strange place. There we go. Uh, I was just going to shove you in, but I guess there's lights in various obvious places I should probably grab. The light, right. That's not light. That's not light. That is a door console, which is rather expensive, so I'll go ahead and take care of that. There's another light in here. I missed that. There it is. Transferring credit. Any other lights? No, I think we're good here. Okay, so shove you into the furnace. Long and roundabout thing to do, but we got there in the end. I don't think this one's actually separatable. No, not really. You see, this whole middle section is just... Oh, okay, there's another... There's another freaking airlock. Somehow I just totally missed that. Alright, well, we're gonna pop it. Hopefully from a distance. Yeah, okay, we lost the door. We know that was gonna happen. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try to do this... Gently and from as far away as possible. I definitely do not want to explode. It might. Okay, it did launch there. There goes the air. But that's okay, that's actually fairly tame compared to what it could be. This should just separate into another component, but that should empty the air from the compartment I wanted, I think. To break all these wonderful pieces. So, we must have done this before. I know we've done this before properly, but last time we messed up on something and couldn't get inside a compartment that had a whole bunch of air in it. We just said, fuck it, we're done. There's a good way to do it. We just need to figure out what it is. And that's what I like about this game, too, is that it's, it's a puzzle, but it's like you can choose your puzzle. And if it's been long enough since the last time you did the puzzle, like, you're not going to remember, which can be good. Okay, so that's all separated. So these two should be separate pieces now, right? Let's see if I can pull this towards the berth. It is huge, so that might not work. Hmm, there's a piece in there. If I can get inside... There's no more air in any of these compartments, so I should be able to get inside now, theoretically. I could burn one of these furnace components, that would work. Yeah, see, I don't see how you're supposed to get inside there. Let me see if I can just pull one towards a jack or something. Um, here, grab onto this support and go that way. You too. Grab and pull. So only really one of them is going to work. That one's not going to work at all. Is that even strong enough? I don't know. The tether, I think, has a limited amount of pull, and I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's actually separating. I'd like to say it is, but I don't think it is. Okay, what if we don't pull that way? What if we pull directly forward? Go towards the hab use two tethers here. Heck, maybe I'll use four tethers. Like one on that side, going that way. And then on this side, over here. Let's see if that works. It's a lot of strength, theoretically, but it might just be too big. I don't see any movement at all. I think it's too heavy. That's unfortunate. Um, this back section, though, we might be able to pull itself. Let's see if we can do that. Let me pull it towards the berth. I mean, if it doesn't move with two, it's probably not going to move with four. But we can try this, at least. Okay, that's at least moving. So that's good. That's a start. Mostly just want them separate somehow. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna at least move these pieces away into the processor. Which means this part will go into the birth, maybe. Why aren't you coming out? Oh, because I didn't actually write. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you go into the birth. And you go into the birth. How are you supposed to get inside? There's got to be a way. Rewards allocated. Oh, well, there we go. That's probably it there. Probably to burn through that. That really seems like the only way. Oh, no, here we go. Up here. Okay. And there's fuses, too. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? Alright. We know these are circles, so we know this separates. As long as we do it correctly and don't, you know, blow up the cryo here. Or whatever the hell that is. Yeah, that's a cool one tank, alright. Um, so we might not even need to burn that, but we'll see. Okay, so maybe I just missed that opening last time? Or maybe didn't have one. I mean, sometimes that will happen. It just won't have the opening you need, and they expect you to puzzle out how to do it. I think that's the only connection point in here. I don't see any other ones. And now we've got the birth attached, or the... Yeah, now it's going that way, which is fine. So much worse, the tethers are still intact. They are. Oh, because now it's pulling the entire thing inside. Okay, so if that's not connected anymore, then we'll move faster. How can I do that? Let's see. Oh, except it's connected off to the side there. Connected to that wall. I can't just remove that wall entirely. So it's still all connected. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there a way to disconnect it? I mean, maybe, but it would involve some cutting. Yeah, so not as easy as I want it to be. Well, at least that's separated out. All right, stop the tethers. I was hoping I'd be able to pull this part away, which might still be possible. I pull it towards the berth. It's a long tether, but I think it'll work. Anything down here? Basically yank it out. That shouldn't be attached to anything, I would think. Oh, no, except the back. It's all attached. The middle parts aren't attached. But the front is... Oh, my God. Okay, so this is where the cutting tool or the cutting explosives might actually come in handy. Because that's the only way this works. Now, the main explosives are over there, so we don't need to worry about blowing up the rest of the ship. But if we want to cut this, that's the only way to really do it because, yeah, this is all tied together. Crap. Okay, so we're gonna go and blow some stuff up. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Uh, where are we gonna blow this up at? A good place for this might be like... That might work. So this is why the disarming tool is so important. Okay, so what we don't wanna do is blow up these guys. We go detach these and throw them into the barge because that's going to be important. There you go. And same with you. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I can move you to the right place. Go this way, maybe? There we go. And somehow you need to come down here and not blow up. Just get through here somehow. There we go. A little bit of bonks, but didn't actually damage your health at all. Okay. Salvage deposit confirmed. Okay, Applied so now we go ahead and blow these up. And the idea is to cut this. And maybe we want to cut this. How are we going to cut this? I mean, maybe we want to cut, like, right on this. I'm going to cut the half I want. Can't tell. Cut it here. Okay, that might work. And cut here as well. So 
some reason it's not letting me... Okay, there we go, right here. And another one right in there somewhere. Right about there. Okay, I have no idea how this is gonna go. It's definitely gonna hurt more things than we have planned, but fuck it, let's do it. Okay. Destroyed some nanocarbon, big deal. The idea, hopefully, did work. Uh, let's split some things, but I might need to split on the other side as well in order to open this up. Okay, we got a lot of explosives. I can do that again. Maybe on this side up here. I was hoping not to do it with the power here, though. Maybe we need to take that out first. Uh, where are the fuses at? Salvage deposit secured. Should be a wrench or somewhere. There we go. Here's one. Turn off the headlamp so I can see better. 34 it. There we go. That's a one. Where's number two? Oh, come on. You're in somewhere. Well, at least we're finding lots of lights. That's something. This thing is just a pain in the two kiss. Let's take apart another light. And another light. I don't see the fuses. Oh, is that one over there? Looks like it's right next to the wall. Yep, that's it. Okay. I can't really get over there very easily. There we go. We're in. We're in. Okay. Remember, no lights flashing is good. This one, very easy to do, just a little faster. There we go. Okay, so then now we just need to grab the actual power before we explode anything. Because typically, power and explosions don't go well together. I was gonna dump that into the processor, that would not be ideal. I want to say the... Yeah, here we go. Our generator is right up here. Applying credit to account. I need to slide this out somehow. Not an easy task. Okay. Just need to, like, turn you or something. That is not a thing, is it? it might turn by itself. Let's let Newton do the work. No? Come on, Newton. Come on, Newton. You need to do your damn job, Newton. Pull this down. It's gonna bonk, but it's not gonna turn. It turned a little bit. It turned the right way. You see, the trouble is I need to open this up more somehow. I have no idea how to do that. I'm gonna try to force this. Okay. It got out. I don't know how it got out, but it got out. And down you go. Don't lose track. We got it. Bonks me a little bit. Oh, good. Come on, just go. Oh, go. Tether your damn thing, man. There you go. Okay, will that get me the salvage I need, or are we still crazy town? We might still be in crazy town. Yeah, this thing being connected is absolutely insane. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. We could burn it all down, but there's no real way to progress here except for being insane. I'm gonna call this good right now. We've, we've gone over the time. What I want to do is go ahead and finish up by taking Balua and just getting out of here. See what happens. So let's end the shift. Let's go. Sign up, find out what happens. Yeah, we got a lot of destroyed things. That is true. Not my best shift ever. Got a little bit on fire. Got a whole bunch of other nonsense. Like, we did not do terribly well there. So it's only time for us to retire. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. 
I mean, I could do that, or I could just leave. Let's type this up, contract status, and let's go, new contract. Be advised, upon confirmation, employment termination is effective immediately. Okay, let's go. Termination acknowledged. To finalize, insert your employee card into the card reader. Oh hey, the card reader is out the whole time. I like that coffee mug. Excuse me. Oh, they are serious about those employee cards, huh? I think it would be great if I put a job and they did that in front of me. That'd be fantastic. Your employment has been terminated. All systems access and communication privileges are revoked. Please remove all personal belongings from the habitation module. Okay, well, I own the suit, so I can definitely take the suit. And my armadillo key is right there. Let's exit the hab for the last time ever. Let's do it. Let's get out of here. You put on the suit when you picked it up, right? I mean, just to make sure. We're free! We're free! be so scary. Like, it's not that long of a distance, but that'd be so scary. I think it must have magnets attached or something. Velcro, something. Cutter, if you're hearing this, it means you and Beulah are well on your way. Away from Oregon Station. Away from Lynx. Hopefully, I'm sipping pina colada surface side right now, watching the nephews splash in the waves. You know, when I first took up the foreman gig, I figured it was for the money. Then, it got so the money didn't matter. What mattered most was doing right by all you kids coming up. I was already starting to understand that the game's rigged. <laughs> and old Lou was right all along. If I could go back and do right by her, I surely would. Folks like her, who fight tooth and nail for the good others, they, they keep the rest of this world honest. Without them, well, let's just say that honesty doesn't exactly occur in abundance naturally. What you're embarking on right now is the dream. <laughs> and you earned it with your own sweat and blood. You're heading into the great wide open. And from here on out, you got no master but yourself. Now, that doesn't mean it's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows. There's as much bad as good out there. As much failure as opportunity. As many enemies as friends. But I know if anyone can make it out there, it's you. I wish I could see what you do. What you make of yourself. Promise me one thing. When you get to wherever it is you're going, you send me a postcard. Weave around. Cool. 
I look forward to the sequel. I think that should probably be the, uh... The Adventures of the Hauler, right? Like, think Escape Velocity, but in 3D. I mean, basically, the X-Series, which that would be. X4 or something like that. That's a lot of cool concept art, for sure. I always love seeing the concept art. It's always awesome. Good work all around, I think. Oh, see, that's a good suit. Variants on the suit would be good, too. That's an awesome suit. I like it. Okay, different kinds of ships. Those are some cool variants right there. What are those? I want those. Oh, that's a cool idea for the bays. It's not what they went with, but it's a cool idea. I like the big freighter, big uh, capital ship bay on the side, too. That's awesome. Now you can see how like the development work here went. That's neat. Got a better idea what was going on. No, this is very cool. I you know, I always love to see concept art. It's always a good. This is a fun game. I loved it. I want to see a sequel to this. I don't know to be the exact same mechanics. Hard space something. Give me hard space something. I'll totally play it. These guys seem like reliable guys really cool ideas. I mean, if it's another shipbreaker game with more ships, or randomized ships, that's good too, but I do kind of want to continue the adventure, whatever that turns out to be. Explore the universe they've created. See that Mars colony. See those colonies around the moons of Jupiter. Maybe do some trading. On a hard space, something. Be really cool. Oh, that's a cool design, but the male and female breakers, that's really good. I like it. Hard space fish. Sunday. Not the day Sunday, but the ice cream Sunday. It's nice they had a pet fish. Now see, customization of the suit would be awesome. They apparently didn't go there because, of course, you don't see yourself. But it would still be kind of cool. And you can put stickers on your equipment, but, like, stickers on yourself would be good, too. Because you always see your suit when you're in the map. Might be okay. Oh, that's a really cool design there, too. For one of the ships. For the reactors. That's really neat. See, that'd be like a class 3 reactor right there, for sure. A lot of cool ship designs that never made it. That's too bad. Hopefully those come into a later game. Those would be cool to see. Okay, there's the fuel removal. I like that they planned out the stages. That's a really complicated fuel removal, though. Oh, that's neat. I mean, I know why some of these didn't make it, because some of these are way too complicated, but also awesome. Look at these. Okay, like that one came in for sure. Yeah, see, the, that's the trouble with a lot of the concept arts. Like, oh, what could have been? But in the end, I mean, they pared it down to what they could accomplish, and they nailed it. I mean, they did great. <laughs> and of course, you gotta explain what happened. You gotta show what happens when uh, something goes horribly wrong. Yeah, they nailed the hell out of this. I mean, it was definitely a fun time. I would like to see more of this demo. There's the AI on us. That's, uh... Turned out to see more AI ships. There's the side cockpits. We definitely did make it in. Pretty much as designed. Can't really get that far, but asteroid 
space ship would be kind of cool. Like, there's some definitely things you can do with Zeke. I know the music's a little loud right now. I can't really turn it down. Just in the human resources, we'll probably go fast forward a little bit here. There's some of the corporate designs, there's Hal. There's the Hab. Very special thanks. Many spaceships for harming the making this game, that's good. There is a real shipbreaker, of course. Yep. There we go. Oh, that's messed up. So, yeah, one of you gets to escape, but they own your genetic template, so they'll just make a new clone. And whoops, it looks like your previous guy died. It's so weird. We don't really have a memory backup from then, but I'm sure it's fine. Wow. I mean, you don't really get a choice. You got to. You got to. Oh, wow. So they own you. They totally own you. Okay. Well, that'll do it with this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been Hard Space Shipbreaker. I'm Peace Universe here at Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.